Across the country, the miners went on strike. Dear Ellis's, it's all changed in 1984, I'm afraid. John, you are working at one of the mines threatened with closure and are now on strike. National strike pay is £15 per week. You may have noticed your car, sofa, freezer and washing machine have disappeared. No! Oh! That's grim. So yeah. why don't you just get a job somewhere else? It's not as easy as that, is it? Could still be working in the pit. But he's yeah, chosen to strike. I'm not saying work in the pit. I'm saying don't strike at all, just get a new job. He's taking a stand. With all my colleagues. And this stand has cost us a sofa. Now, the ruthless gang of robbers who outwitted police for months despite each of their crimes being caught on camera. The men used a new and dangerous technique to break open 27 cash machines. 1.30 in the morning in Britain's capital. The gang is about to rob a cash machine at a petrol station. Within weeks, they've blown up multiple cash points across London and the home counties. The Met's elite flying squad are called in to investigate. So this is the perfect venue for them. They'll raise up the shutters, they'll cause the explosion at the ATM, they'll smash their way through the door and attack the ATM and hopefully get the money and then make off as quickly as they can. They're so confident, one robber gives a cheeky sign. The subject here, he actually waves to the camera. Um, which is quite chilling, really, because it shows he's actually got no regard at all for members of the public or people who may live above this premises. There you can see the explosion and the actual damage it caused to the premises. Again, the subject's no need to force the way in here. It's actually the explosions caused the damage. Hi there. How are you? I'm good, thank Fine. you. We will take you to the operation room in, okay. I think, 30 minutes. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, yes. Come, please. Yes. Right. No worries. The operation Lee's having is still rare, but this hospital has seen seven British guys in the last six months. So, uh, you want deep lines? Deep lines. Six pack, right? Yep. Here, here. This is only one part, okay? And you want some defining? Yes. Here, yes. right? Lee's gone down now, and um, I'm still trying to work out whether he's got the right idea or, uh, or I have. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to do another sit-up again, ever. Imagine that. What's happening now, Doctor? This is the second stage, uh, extraction of the fat. Raw. <laughs> Jeez, that's his actual fat coming out of him right now. This is educated upper middle class Pakistan. So not typical of everyone, but nevertheless, I was struck by a sense of freedom here that I've rarely experienced in Pakistani circles. <laughs> On the terrace, I met Abdul Rahman, another British Pakistani who'd recently moved to Lahore. I was working in London and uh, it was kind of, it's kind of a difficult place to live sometimes. Yeah. And so I was like, let's try it. Like, let's see how it is over here. And I was really surprised. I was really surprised by how interesting it is here. Well, to be fair, I'm, I, I was really surprised to see what's going on over here. I mean, it seems it's really interesting. Mm. I haven't really been out at night time in Pakistan. No, but... I think that's, you know, from the media and from everything that's portrayed about Pakistan. Like, I thought the same thing. I was not expecting this kind of scene to be happening when I came over. Yeah. So I was also surprised. Just the fact that people can, be, can do what they want and can express themselves creatively in the way that they want. I think it's really important, and yeah. it is happening. Yeah. 
As the strike turned from days to weeks to months, the task of the miner's wife became ever more crucial. I can read that. That is unreadable. What does that I mean? I don't think they're tomatoes. So Leslie is determined to put a good meal on the table. All she has to do is figure out what's in the tins. Oh, gravy and carrots. There's Yum. beans from Hungary. It's like minestrone soup. Oh, oh. minestrone soup. Tinned beef from Russia. It smells like fish and looks like corned beef. And courtesy of the French. Chicken feet! 